Welcome to Laurel Smith of Chicago, Illinois nonprofit home video and artwork creations. In this particular video, we will be looking at the Bible lies, in which actually, in which actually concealed the African lion thinks face in which we now see upon the lion's body in front of the Isaiah 19:19 Giza pyramids. As we look at this theologically based racism in which the the Giza Sphinx origin of ancient Judaism. This would be the European Gentile nations in which originally started the early United States government in English uh, pilgrim as English pilgrims. So we see the trading ships coming from Europe in which has the uh, English pilgrims in black hats, coats, tight shoes and as we look at the early 13 colonies in America started by the 10 European Gentile nations in which the mistranslated King James Bible was actually uh, all about. As we get into the same black hats, coats, tights, shoes wearing English pilgrims that started, that started the early United States government, it's the same European face Israelites in which we see praying at the Western Wall. As we look at the African continent, Sphinx 11 of ancient Judaism and, and uh, Jerusalem, we are looking at the biblical Bible lie that of the European Gentile nation that occurred in 1611 as the King James of England appointed 72 Greek and Hebrew scholars to study the Islamic, Aramaic, the Sea Scrolls. Well, after they got finished studying the African Sphinx of Judea and Jerusalem, Qumran cave uh, images or, or Dead Sea Scrolls, they, in theological racism, illegally renamed the 12 African continent tribes in which the African lion thinks of Judea and Jerusalem ruled over into the 12 sons of Jacob. This totally concealed ancient Africa's African thinks in which we now see in front of the North uh, East African continent Isaiah 19, 19 Giza pyramids. So as we look at the, the second illegal name change of the 12 sons of Jacob and by the European Gentile nations now, we're talking about the English Bible, English textbooks, ABCs, and, and zero to nine alphabet of the European Gentile nations. So when we look at a European account of an Afro-American, uh, I mean, of an African continent thinks history, we must look at it with skepticism. In other words, if you want a direct historical account of what occurred in ancient Egypt, then we go directly to the African Sphinx in front of the Isaiah 1919 Giza Pyramid. And that Sphinx of ancient Judaism actually ruled over the book of Genesis 2-7, normal here the African Adamic race, in which populated the entire African continent from South Africa to North. Now, out of the two people that was created on the earth, or two Afro, uh, Africans, put it that way, we have Genesis 1-26, elongated here the African Adam, and we have Genesis 2 7, normal here the African Adam. So the normal here the African Adam populated South Africa to North. Now, if we look at, uh, if we draw 12 horizontal white lines across the African continent from east to west, and then view them with satellite imagery, so we're looking at 12 horizontal white lines upon the African continent and viewed with satellite imagery from outer space. What we will immediately see is that 12 African continent tribes is now is actually populating all of the 12 horizontal land surface lines. And which brings us into the terminology in which I call the original 12 African continent tribes in which the Giza thinks ruled over in ancient Judaism.
because of this theological racist uh, agenda of the European Gentile nation that started the early United States government in black hats, coats, tights, and shoes. As they put the pyramids on the back of the dollar bill, but not the black man's face in which we now see in front of the Isaiah 19, 19 Giza pyramid. This would be tantamount to pure theological racism. So as the early 13 colonies in black hats, coats, tights, and shoes, we talk about the English pilgrims, okay, that celebrate Thanksgiving or carving of the turkey every year, which celebrates their freedom from Europe. So the early 13 colonies that started the United States government, uh, took over the 11 and 12 era view Northeast African continent geographic land surface line era of Judea and Jerusalem. So this is where we use the uh, Dome of the Rock window. Okay, we're looking at the Stell Pyramid E or the rect stone rectangular window frame. In the Dome of the Rock window, we see five blocks stacked on top of one another so that they form a step that you walk upon on the left and right side. So you stand back and look at those uh, uh, five blocks stacked on the left and right side on top of one another so that they form a step. You're actually looking at a black African Babylonian stealth pyramid civilization of Ham, Globe birth stealth pyramid Mercator projection. Now notice that if you look at the stealth pyramid in the Dome of the Rock window, the octagonal building structure that, that has the Golden Dome in Jerusalem. Okay, on this outer wall you see that the stealth pyramid E image is actually two stealth pyramids connected at their bases and which gives us a north, south, east, and west geographic uh, vector la of land surface area. Now, the ancient Babylonians, uh, Stealth Pyramid Civilization of Ham, actually measured huge square sections of the globe Earth. This is why, when we look at the Masonic Square, of the square base of the Giza Pyramids, where the black man's face upon the land's body, in which was denied in theological racism within the 400 year old mistranslated King James Bible by the European Gentile nations. As they took over Jerusalem and Judea, they took over the 11 and 12th era view Northeast African continent, thinks the 11 land surface line. But see, when I was uh, mentioned that the English textbook Bible has lost its credibility when we look at the aerial view 11 Northeast African continent land surface line, which if you look at it from outer space with satellite imagery, we have drawn 12 lines from South Africa to North. The 12th line is falling off the water in, in, in Northeast Africa. The 11th line is uh, what the Isaiah 1919 Giza pyramids are. But if you look at the Google map enlarged image of the 11th line area, you're going to see it encompasses Sudan, Egypt, and Libya, and uh, Judea. But on the globe map, Ezra 1 3 in the Bible says, Let us go up to Jerusalem, which is located in the land of Judah. So when we look at the globe Earth, satellite imagery we're looking at the 11 line from our space and guess what way before we zoom into the Isaiah 1919 Giza pyramid we are looking at a huge triangular desert uh, land surface area representing an Egyptian royal headdress and in the center we see a dark shadow U face of the African things uh, of ancient Judaism now this is looking at the Northeast African continent from outer space with satellite imagery now, as we look at this, archaeological, theological uh, discovery in, in which Nibiru Temple Mount aliens has made, and Laurel Smith of Chicago, Illinois, is nonprofit and home video and artworks creation, we say we will have to look at the images next to the Sphinx 11 face. So you can see this Google map image. Uh, which when it's displayed on the internet or YouTube that thinks 11 face is high in high contrast is as if someone is trying to conceal or hide the fact that the things of the Bible is the same black man face uh, upon a lion's body in which we now see in front of the Isaiah 1919 Giza pyramid so when we look at what lies next to this thinks 11 now we're talking about Judah of Ezra 1 3. So remember, I was telling you that the ancient Babylonians measured huge square sections of the globe earth? Well, guess what? The entire Northeast African continent appears in the Stell Pyramid E image of the Babylonian Stell Pyramid Civilization of Ham. Now remember, this is what the entire book of Psalms was supposed to be all about. 
uh, according to the European Gentile nations that studied the African continent Sphinx history or, or Islamic Aramaic Dead Sea Scrolls. So when we discover that that black man's face upon the lion's body was denied in theological racism by the European Gentile nations that started the early United States government uh, in English trading boats from Europe, right? So we call them the English pilgrims in black hats, coats, tights, and shoes that started the early 13 colonies in America as they took over the Giza Sphinx and Gaza Palestinian area they erected settlements so we see black hats, coats, tights, and shoes wearing English pilgrims that started the early United States government so if we look at them at the Western Wall we see European faced Israelites or false Israelites in black hats, coats, tights, and shoes Okay, so they are illegal occupiers of the original geographic globe Earth 11th and 12th geographic Northeast African continent land surface line. So this is what Judea and Jerusalem is connected to. Judea is the 11th line as you look at the globe map in which I'm pro pro providing on this video. Then we have the 12th line which is Jerusalem. So 11 and 12 is connected. By proximity on the uh, numeric chart new, on the numeric chart but if we go back to this um, globe earth still permit mechanical projection we you would be shocked to find out that the entire Northeast African continent all right from uh, is appearing in the dome of the rock octagonal building structure they have the golden dome in Jerusalem you walk around the, the, the eight walls and they all have a uh, stone rectangular window frame. Each stone rectangular window frame has uh, a star pyramid E image. So we're talking about Babylon when we talk about the, the African sons of Jacob, okay? So you say, okay, so this is where we uncover that there was no 12 sons of Jacob entering into Northeast Africa and starting the ancient Judaism. This is the great theological wake-up call to Afro-Americans in the Afro-American churches. As we look at this 12 African continent tribes that was illegally renamed into the 12 sons of Jacob in theological racism 400 years ago uh, uh, in 1611 by the King James of England, we have discovered that we have, we have rediscovered that the entire Temple Mount structure is generating the stealth pyramid of Dosha. So if you invert the, uh, this you're looking at the Temple Mount from a helicopter or this rectangular uh, enclosure and then the octagonal building structure in the center of this rectangular land surface enclosure area. So if you just turn it upside down, okay, uh, that's what I mean by inverting the entire helicopter image. Uh, if you're looking down from 12 to 6 o'clock position from a helicopter on the dome of the rock octagonal building structure within this rectangular enclosure land surface area. So if you invert that image, you're going to see the step of the Sakaar. Now you say, well, if we draw a line from the El Sacra Mosque and the Dome of the Rock or the uh, El Aqsa Mosque, so the rectangular building that has a great dome, you draw a line from it and it intersects with the rectangular enclosure. All right. Now, in, on my video, you're going to see this step of the Adosia. You say, wait a minute. Well, if, if the Bible if the Temple Mount is generating an uh, elongated headed alien God one next to in the center of the first step pyramid of Dosha image. So there's three pyramids in ancient Egypt. Right? Step pyramids now. There's three pyramids in Giza in Egypt, right? Sharp pyramids. Okay. That have the uh, smooth sides. But when you go back to ancient Egypt, the origin of Judaism, you, you're looking at the step pyramid of Saqqara and the Stealth Pyramid of who? Doja. Okay.
Niagara River in the night line. Remember, 12 lines from South Africa to North. Jerusalem is the 12th, uh, Judea is the 11th, right? And that's where we see the Finch 11 face. Way before we zoom in, if we're looking at the Northeast African continent with satellite imagery from our space. So this uh, 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 Libya and, and uh, uh, Ethiopia is in that 10th line, you get it? But the Giza Sphinx is the 11th line. So ancient Judaism was all about the normal shape headed African Adam being transported above the atmospheric region of planet Earth in Ezekiel's glowing wilderness and were like your folks. By who? The elongated headed alien God 1, or which I call the H2 now 25 alien. But let me go back and retract. You see that there's a four feet tall, big black oval shaped eye alien that has no uh, penis between his legs. In fact, this is what they call elongated headed Yaku. So it's connected to the Babylonian stealth pyramid civilization of Ham. Uh, H2925 alien that created the first elongated hit African Adam. Now the black men well, that was created in Genesis 126, they had long water in the shape here, like King Tut, Pharaoh, Canterton, but they no longer exist upon the surface of planet Earth. They are up in King Solomon's orbiting cube in the six point star. That's the cube of neutral root. So it's a black cube, not a white man's cube, not a European cube, not a Eurocentric temple mark cube. Remember, Europe and the Bible is one. Okay? And they lied about Africa and the black man faced upon the lion's body of ancient Judaism, the lion sphinx of Genesis 49, chapter 8, verse. But if we go back to find out that the first one, two, three, four lines, if we draw them from South Africa, from east to west, okay, that's where the elongated headed alien two. Now it looked like the alien guy one face on the temple mount. So we talking about Look at the African continent on the blue basketball shape earth with satellite imagery. So you draw one, two, three, four lines from South Africa. So as you rise up on the land surface of Africa and now get up and out of space and look at those four lines, you're going to see an elongated headed uh, alien too. That's an African continent alien that was in Ezekiel's glowing wilderness world like your foe. And I'm showing it on my video. Now let's go back to the uh, 11th line in Northeast Africa. That's what Judea is in Ezra 1 3. Let us go up to Jerusalem, the 12th line, which is located uh, in Judah, the land of Judah. So, this is why ancient Judaism was all about the uh, elongated headed alien god 1, or the four feet tall, big black oval shaped eyes, willing to wood like Old Testament glowing, circular UFO alien, as they educated the normal headed African Adam. So when I say normal shaped headed black man, that's Genesis 2 7. Uh, African Adamicrate that populated South Africa to North. This is where, if we look at it with satellite imagery, we see nothing but tr African tribes living in each of the 12 lines. And which brings us back to the terminology in which I call the original 12 African continent tribe, in which the African things ruled over before theological racism uh, uh, carried out by the European Gentile nation through the King James of England 400 years ago in 1611 when he appointed 72 Greek and Hebrew scholars. This theological racist move illegally changed the 12 African continent tribes in your King James Bible that you read in your Afro-American churches into the 12 sons of Jacob. A second illegal renaming transformed uh, your African continent history and black men faced upon a land and body in front of the Giza pyramid. It concealed all of that by second renaming illegally the 12 sons of Jacob into the 12 tribes of Israel. So that's why when Afro Americans look for their history in the Bible, they, they start scratching their head. Why? Because they're looking to call themselves Israelites, which is theologically incorrect. Remember, you are descendants of any of the 12 African continent tribes. But in the uh, 15th century, we have English pilgrims in black house coats, tights, and shoes uh, starting the 13 colonies and then from Europe. So as they placed the African pyramids on the back of the dollar bill, the same black hats, coats, shoes, and tights wearing English pilgrims that did not place the black man face upon the lion's body in front of the pyramid on the back of the dollar bill. This was tantamount to theological racism. So now we call them European face false Israelites as they took over the 11th and 12th Northeast African continent, holy land surface line, geographic land surface line of Judea and Jerusalem. Now remember, the African continent as you look at it in the Dome of the Rock window, you're looking at the Stealth Pyramid E. 
Five blocks stacked on top of one another that they form a step that you walk up on on the left or right side. Now you stand back. If you connect two of those step pyramids together at their bases, now you got a north, east, south, and west geographic coordinate vector. So the African continent appears in the lower step pyramid E image in the Dome of the Rock window. That means that that Dome of the Rock is, is a 100% lion sphinx of Ethiopia building structure uh, connected to King Solomon and the cube. Okay, uh, in outer space, orbiting cube structure in the Jerusalem. So thank you for viewing these great archaeological and theological discoveries.